All right, two more. Uh, Chael, what are your thoughts on McGregor versus Alvarez? Okay, I love the fight. Listen, Conor McGregor comes out, he brings an absolute storm. And what happens is most guys aren't left standing when that hurricane runs through. Nobody's running over Eddie Alvarez. It has never happened. It isn't going to happen. You can beat Eddie, yeah. but you're going to need some time and probably the judges and maybe things don't go that way. Nobody is running over Eddie Alvarez. And if Conor comes out and tries to do it, and I think he needs to try to do it, he's a front runner, much like Vitor, and then just hope nobody's left standing. Uh, I just don't think he's got the endurance. And Eddie Alvarez is the real deal. No two ways about it. He's a world champion, but so is Connor. Mm. I just don't, at, at 55, I talk about this all the time, I just don't see, and I'm the biggest Connor, you know, fanboy in the world. At 55, I just don't see him matching up well with those top five. I, I, it's not a fun career for him at 55. It's never happened before. And, you know, so many fighters have come out and said, you what need has to strip never happened? Connor. What do you mean? Where a guy wins two belts simultaneously in the UFC. And I, I want to say this, and I'm switching gears just a tiny bit, but I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated at the stupidity of fighters, and I just can't take it anymore. Fighters are weighing in saying you need to strip Conor McGregor. Now guys are coming out from other divisions that have no standing in the matter. Eight, an 85-pounder just came out and said, you need to strip Conor McGregor. And it's like, guys, do I really need to explain this to you? Part of the storyline of this is that history has a chance to be made, yes. that Conor McGregor has the ability to capture two titles simultaneously to use Trump's point from a marketing angle if you're the UFC why would you possibly through the power of the pen do away with one of the greatest storylines that you have leading into this contest why can you guys not understand it? now if you're Dana White and you come out and you reveal that to everybody it loses its allure it's like guys connect the dots here yeah let him have his moment let him hold the two belts up let that picture go out there forever should he be able to do it and let us have the headlines there is a trickle-down effect in MMA. I'm over in Bellator. We will feel a trickle-down effect from, from the Madison Square Garden card. Sure. They went and got... Oh, yeah. You will be in New York before, yeah. you know. World Series is going to New York. There's a trickle-down effect. Go ahead and support your racehorse while he's running. But the, that racehorse race who's, you know, if he is holding both belts simultaneously, besides Connor, who else would they get behind? Name a big draw. Go. It's tough right now. Just give me one, though, Chill. Yeah, give me one? Yeah, Rhonda. I got to go with Rhonda. And she's not even fighting. <laughs> it's yeah. not until she December 30th. December, yeah. but then, then, and then, you know, you, you see what she's been going through. How, how many does she have left? Sure. Yeah. No, absolutely. So and you got, you got Connor, your poster boy. You know? Yeah, and Rhonda's big. I don't mean this negative at all. Rhonda is not as big as they say she is. Rhonda has never done the Gates or the pay-per-view sales that Connor does, and they continue to say she's the biggest draw in the industry. Dana does. Yes, he does. And I have, and a, I've never I have a theory on that. that. I have a theory on that okay. if you really want to get into it. So Dana goes, she's the biggest fighter we've ever had in the UFC, blah, blah, blah. I saw that and went, that's not true. Number-wise, it's not true. You can say, oh, well, Shab's biased. No, let's just look at the numbers. Connor's the biggest fighter you've ever had. Brock Lesnar was huge. Yep. Chael Sonnen was huge. Ronda's not huge in that respect. I, I, I would assume, you know, Dana's human, so he's going to be biased. Ronda and Dana share the same agent at WME. Okay. So there's going to be some biased favoritism when he says sure. that stuff you Marketing. know what I'm saying yes. yeah I just never understood and maybe that maybe it comes down as simply as that look there's some backstory and some politics there and she's a huge star I'm not questioning Ron at all but she is not look she's always been second to Connor since he's been on his run she never touched Lesnar nobody did that was an anomaly George St. Pierre did his great numbers I've always just been a little bit confused why are they saying that? Because a lot of this is verifiable. We can verify it might the be her That's sex, the, the first woman, the superstar yeah. in fighting. We can look around the building yeah. and see what's sold out here or not. I was there when she fought Sarah McMahon, and you know there were seventy five hundred. It's just the reality. It's just mm. what was sold. There's there's clicks online and and, and certain things, and she does but really you, good you, business. But, 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 she just but you know how um, market is in social media. If you say it enough times, it becomes true. It becomes true, and especially yeah. when Dana says it. Yeah. Because no, his word is gold in the UFC. That. So he's always pushed on like, that's not true. And then when he goes, she's the best female fighter on the planet. I also have an issue with that because I've, I've seen Cyborg fight. And I see her right now. I'm like, there's not a female on this planet right now who can beat that woman. That's ever been born. 